Well, it's what, 6.20. Thursday uh, morning. I'm going to lose track of the days. It's coming. And just breaking camp here at Upper Cathedral Lake. Sun's just coming up. And the uh, actually fish in this lake, which surprised me because it's not really too big, but I guess it's, this is a pretty good size. It keeps, keeps going and going. Uh, there were coyotes last night that came fairly close and making all sorts of racket. Other than that, I slept better than I thought I would. So, uh, I guess it's time to get back on the trail. I just made it down near the highway to Wyoming Meadows, but got a couple miles to go. It says 3.8. So here I am confused again. That doesn't make sense. But I'm going to take this trail parallel to the highway. So I don't look like a bum hitchhiker like I did a few days ago with my wife. <laughs> so uh, uh, I've got apparently 3.8 miles which means uh, I lied to Sandy and she's probably going to show up a little earlier than she needs to but she'll at least find the parking lot. Then I've got uh, a big breakfast plan. Ooh, pretty. There's the store. Parking lot. I think I even I saw a glimpse of my mother. Let it roll right off your shoulder, don't you know? There she is. Part is, part is over. Let it I saw you standing out there. Part of ways with Sandy. Probably about four miles up Lyle Canyon. Got maybe another five miles to go before I camp. Add that on to the six miles I had before. And it's not a long day, but it's uh, they're not hard miles. This is a beautiful little canyon and most of this beauty is made up in the fact that the trail is pretty flat so I'm gonna get to the end of this long canyon and hopefully go up about a mile or so uh, up the pass to get a jump on climbing the rest of Donahue Pass in the morning it's supposed to be some nice campsites up just past the bridge so that's the goal on the trail. 
seems like there's more people here. There's definitely more people than we're going up to sunrise from Missimi Valley. Following the meadows is a lot easier uh, to uh, access this canyon from than where I started. So I've got a lot of people with a head start, a lot of people passing me. More people passing me than I'm passing them, so I guess I need a little luck on finding a campsite tonight. There's a lot of people headed up Donahue Pass, but they had restrictions on that. Well, I'll be fine. See my nice place to take a break. Okay, break's over. Pretty sure. Couldn't tell for sure. I've got an ingrown nail. So I dug into it. And uh, I don't know if it fixed it or not. And I retaped it. And so I went from having a sore toe to limping noticeably. But it seems to be calming down a little bit. Back to where it was before. And hoping like these ingrown nails I've had before that will cure itself now that it's not uh, hopefully not sticking in the inside of my toe so I had all sorts of horrible things wrong with my feet and to have that be the problem it's actually a very good sign uh, uh, the Surgery seems to have healed not a moment too soon. A little visitor out on the side of the trail. Donahue Pass. It uh, looks a little ominous. About 3,000 feet. I was hoping to uh, go up a little ways, about a third. There's supposed to be some nice campsites up there, but my uh, my one toe needs to find a camp soon. At least that's what he's telling me. So, I'm looking to the toe and uh, add a couple miles and a thousand feet to tomorrow's hike but uh, uh, I'm already at 16 miles 16 more miles tomorrow is going to kill me I guess right well it will if I don't have my toe in shape so 